In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm making my primitive dove hanger. I'm calling them graceful messengers. It's my take on the prosperity hens. Let's get started. I did create a template for you to follow. You can download the PDF. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below and you'll just cut out the dove. For each dove, you'll cut two pieces of fabric. I'm using muslin so that I can prim it. For each dove, you'll need two pieces and I created seven doves, so that would have been 14 pieces. I'm cutting my squares for the doves at five inches by five inches for each square. Here I'm just taking a heat erasable marking pen and tracing around the dove. I'm lining up my fabric with the pattern so that I could see where I am going to leave a hole for stuffing and also where to add my trim. And I'll sew all the way around to that mark and then all the way back around, leaving that opening for the stuffing. just finished sewing the piece and I'm just snipping off those extra threads and then the next step will be to cut all the way around the piece about an eighth of an inch seam allowance without cutting into any of the threads. I decided to use a different pair of scissors. I'm using my snipping scissors so that I can get close, but more accurate. And I'm just going around, again, at about an eighth of an inch without snipping any of those seams. For the tail, I'm using my pinking rotary cutter so that I can get that wavy effect right there. got this beautiful seam binding that I crinkled and I coffee stained and I'm thinking I'm going to use these for the wings. It'll be so pretty so I'll need to cut them and I think I will cut them at four inches and then fold them in half for a two inch wing and then I'll add a button. Here I grab some stuffing to add to our doves and you'll just go in from the crinkled area and go ahead and stuff and then we're going to add some lace.
once you stuff the dove, then you'll add the lace and sew that closed. That is what I'm thinking. I'm kind of winging this, no pun intended. But I, I do have a vision. But make sure you stuff all the way up to the beak and just use the tool that comes with the stuffing and use little bits at a time. You'll just add the lace as shown and you're going to sew the dove shut along that lace line. Stuffing is complete and the lace is sewn on and I think it's looking really cute. Now I've got to do the other six. Now it's time to prim the doves. We're going to add some coffee stain and some grunge sprinkle. and sprinkling is complete. I used burnt umber acrylic paint to paint the beaks. I thought that would be a nice touch. This paint has been in my stash for a long time. It's Deco Art metallic paint. I'm going to use it to paint a muffin tin and I did tap a hole in the top. The metallic paint is antique bronze. So I'm going to paint that to use for my bell at the bottom of my Graceful Messengers hanger. Yep, you can tell I had it for a long time. I really had to stir that. But it's so pretty, I believe it's an antique bronze. I 
I did want to mention that I did um, give a light scuff sand to the tin because it's metal and I want to make sure that the paint adheres to it. I ended up giving this two coats of the paint, the metallic paint, and now I'm going in with the burnt umber and I'm going to just pounce on that lightly, like a dry pounce if you will. Just put a little on the parchment paper and dab my makeup sponge on that and wipe it off and just uh, pounce on it to darken up some of the areas. For the top of the bell, I'm using a copper piping that I, I cut a piece off and I super glued and hot glued that on there. For the inside of the bell, I decided to use a piece of rusty wire and then I attached um, a little jingle bell to the end of that. And I think that completes this bell is perfectly aged and I loved how it turned out. To begin assembling our Graceful Messengers hanger, you'll need some string. I selected some hemp string. Um, these are rosewood um, wood beads. I really love these. And you'll need a doll needle. I wanted to use this because it's long and sturdy. You'll string five beads at a time. I started with five beads for the bottom and then in between each dove you'll have five beads and at the top you'll end with five beads. But you can add as many or as little as you like and any kind of bead. What's nice about this project is you can customize it to your liking. You could even embellish the dove however you like as well. Once you have five beads on, it's time to add your first dove. And notice on the template, I put markings where you'll insert the needle. And it may take a little bit, but you'll want to go in between the seam if you can. And then there's a marking at the top as well to show you where to come out. And if you need to, you can push it a little. And you'll just pull those down to the beads. And you can see the five beads there. Those are the first five beads. 
and here it is with five beads at the bottom a dove and then five beads at the top and you'll continue this process until you've done all seven doves I think these turned out so pretty the rosewood beads really accent them well and the lace grunged perfectly now it's time to add those wings that's the seam binding with vintage buttons and we'll add those on The vision for my wings was just like this. Take that seam binding, add the button, and then we're just gonna add a touch of hot glue and we'll put one on each side of the dove. And I think that is the perfect added touch. I am just so in love with these. All that's left to do is to add the bell at the bottom and you're just gonna string that on and add a hanger at the top. I just selected um, something from my stash, just a metal drawer piece and I thought it paired perfectly with it. Here I am just stringing on the bell to the bottom. And I, there is no specific method I use to do this. You just want it to be secure. And then once I had it wrapped around several times, then I brought in that doll needle and threaded it with the hemp cord and just took that around a couple times. And that is all it needed to be secure. And here is that drawer pull from my stash. I thought that would be so cute for the top of this hanger. And then I just added a rusty star to that. And now it's complete. Are you ready for the reveal? I just love how this project turned out. Look how perfectly aged the bell is. How perfectly primitive the doves look. Those cute little buttons with the seam binding, the lace, is just all there. Look at the beads, those rosewood beads, and then the hardware with the star at the top. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And until the next video, God bless.
you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you have found value in this video, please like and comment.